Hello again YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have a small art and coloring book haul plus a giveaway for July. Now I, this will be my first giveaway on them. I don't think I'll be doing one every month but probably every two months or so, something like that. Haven't quite figured it out. But anyways, before I get into the giveaway, I'm going to show you my quick haul that I got um, at Target and Michael's. So, I went to Target the other day and I got this beautiful uh, watercolor coloring book. I'm sure you guys have seen it. And I am so sorry that I cannot get the full frame in. I finally got a tripod and it's not the best. Um have to figure out a way to stand it up taller and also my phone I think weighs more than the tripod which is a shame because it keeps wanting to fall over hang on let me just try stack it oh oh my god uh well it just fell from me barely touching it so Uh, I may return this because this thing is junk. Alright. So, I know you guys have seen this one on YouTube before. So, I'm not going to do a full flip through unless you guys ask in the comments. Um, but let me show you a page I started. Which I use with these supplies. This is the page of hummingbirds. I I, bought, I recently bought these watercolor pencils. Faber Castell 12 grip watercolor eco pencils. These, this was also at Target. And they work pretty well so far. Um, I think, well so, I still like the Derwent's uh, better. But that might just be because I'm not used to these. But I'll get the hang of it. And I messed up this hummingbird. It looked better before I added black. And when I did that, too much black got in there. Way more than I wanted. I'm used to uh, doing my own watercolor birds. They're usually larger than this. So a black outline... Is no big deal and it look it makes the bird pop but the, when the birds are a lot bigger you're not gonna get these bold black lines that kind of like ruin the rest of the bird because as you see there's black work I didn't want it to be right here I'm gonna zoom in on it carefully see that's just way too much black and I'm going to try and do the other birds better. As you see, I just did, you know, solid colors so far. Um, watercolor. Uh, uh, you, you can remove the paint to try and add more highlights where you want it. So as you see with, like, this bird and this one, all of them pretty much, I basically use my finger to rub off some of the paint where I wanted a, a little more white and then just wiped the paint off my finger with a paper towel and with by doing that and, um, and the reason I did that with these birds uh, is not for a light source or anything like that but if you just look at pictures of hummingbirds their color is just lighter by their belly okay I'm not I'm not, I don't really deal with light sources that much. Uh, instead, I, if I do think of a light source, I don't think of every little detail about the light source. I mostly think about cast shadows. So, like, obviously at the bottom of, at the bottom of their wings, like right here, where there's their wing, 
there's going to be a bit of a cast shadow from this wing and a cast shadow over here from its body and so on. So if you just think about things like that, it makes it a lot easier to shade or paint or whatever you're doing. Just think about where objects are next to each other, if that makes sense. Alright, so what have we got? I also got these watercolor paint tubes uh, by Ray's. There's, I think, 10? No, 12 tubes. And they are 10 milliliters in size. The reason I got these is because I really wanted a, just a tube of white watercolor that's the one I use the most for highlighting because like a watercolor white pencil isn't really going to show up so you need thick paint I probably could have just used acrylic but I, I, I don't know I like using the same mediums and unfortunately Michaels didn't sell them individually for a good price like one tube of of watercolor was gonna be about six dollars whereas this whole set of 12 was 10. That's of course it's a different brand but still <laughs> big difference in price there. So anyway, that's my haul. I also have other coloring books coming in because I have a shopping problem now. <laughs> Alright now moving on to the giveaway. Now, the first that I'm giving away is what I showed you guys in a couple of other videos. I'm giving away two of these galaxy markers. You can use these for highlighting. I showed you guys in the previous video of my finished coloring pages how I used these on Captain Hook's hair. They, these markers, they, they give highlights without it being stark white, at least when you use them on top of color pencils. I'm not sure about whether they'll show up when used with markers. I have not tested them that way. Anyways, these are usually about $2 in stores or online. I got a bunch for $0.50 cents each, so I thought I would give them to you guys. So there's two of those. And next is this coloring book. Looking possum. Okay, there we go. So let me just flip through a few pages. I already showed this book before, but I'm going to show it again. This is the giveaway. Oh, and to, in order to qualify for the giveaway, you do not have to be subscribed to my channel. So, you might want to, to see who wins, because I'm going to post it in a video at the end of the month. Probably around July 30th. But anyways... What I do want you to do is leave me a comment um, telling me your favorite, what's your favorite coloring book and why. And you can, and that's basically all you have to do. But, you know, if you want to say anything else in the comments, go right ahead. This bunny is pretty cute. And this is really good paper, guys. It's like cardstock, practically. It's really good. So you can use markers, especially since they're single-sided. Maybe even paint. I might as well show all the pictures now. Cool little uh, dots in. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> There's that giraffe again, but instead he's wearing 
glasses and earphones. This is super smart. Huh, instead of a hippie, he's a hippo. <laughs> Too. Beardy and brilliant. <laughs> That's a fancy cat. Another smart owl. This foxy couple. I guess you can put your own phrase up there. Sorry about the shadow, guys. seeing this tiger he's pretty cool <laughs> another schnauzer Original drawings. So here it is. I guess I'll. Man, this tripod is not what I expected. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Now, those of you viewing this video, obviously I have copyright of this digital download, and whoever wins it, you cannot sell it. Got it? But it's for your own use. This, this is for your own personal coloring use. I'm gonna zoom in a little so you guys can see a little more details. So. Seahorse, crab, lots of coral, seashell, and starfish. Trying to figure out best to hold this. If you guys want to see more of my artwork, you can go to my shop. It's uh, Jada's Artistic Visions at Etsy. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I'll have this page as well as a few others. I've showed uh, those others in previous videos. Like I have a deer, a rabbit. Um, two, like, inspirational word ones. One says imagine, the other says, uh, what was it? I can't, I can't even remember. And I'm working on others. Oh, inspire, yeah. Well, I thought it was create, but I haven't finished create yet. So, yeah, I have 
the deer, the rabbit, imagine, create all on my Etsy shop. Um, they're just the the rabbit and the deer are thirty cents each, and the imagine and inspire word ones are I'm, I'm selling together for I think they're forty cents for two downloads, so that's a deal right there. And I plan on posting this one soon, probably by the time this video is uploaded. And I have a fox one that will be going up as well. So if you like this, or if you have any other ideas for me to draw, let me know in the comments. And like I said, all you gotta do is comment on this video to be able to win this giveaway. That's it. Thank you, and y'all have a great night and a good weekend. Bye.